Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Raw Radiant Health and I'm Natasha and thank you so much for joining me. So it's Friday everyone and I've decided to leave you guys with a, little, a few tips on how to stay on your diet over the weekend because I know this is difficult for a lot of people because the weekend, it's, for a lot of people, it's their time off work, they're out socializing, they're going to parties, they're going out, they're seeing family, they're taking like weekend getaways, whatever it is, weekends are usually a time of relaxation and having fun and doing something different and getting off of the routine. And so I know that a lot of people actually have a hard time on the weekend because they're so good. Monday to Friday, like on their diet, they're strict, they're good, they're clean. And then Friday night comes along and Friday till like Monday morning, they're like, you know, having like a junk food uh, buffet, you know? <laughs> and then Monday morning comes along and they're feeling guilty and, and they feel bad and, and they're apologizing and they're really, really hard on themselves. And so I decided that today I would talk about how, how to kind of avoid that, how, how to get through the weekend feeling good and feeling like you've actually progressed in your, in your dietary changes and in your, your healthy lifestyle. So what I want to talk about is a little bit about, first of all, like why do people stay on, on certain diets, right? Why do certain diets are easy? To, to bring into your daily life. And the reason I believe that is, is because it's, it's not so much about like the exterior results like the weight loss or reversing some sort of health condition. Those things are great, but I honestly believe the reason why people can stay on certain diets is because of what happens inside them. And what that means is that I've seen how a lot of times when people get on like a really great healthy diet, you know, they're losing the weight, they feel better, they have more energy, and then next thing you know, it, their self-confidence starts going up, they start feeling better about themselves, they, they start like even loving themselves, they start respecting themselves, they like being in their own skin, and eventually they even like, they might even like you know, things that they hated before, but they like it better because they're at a better place in their life. And there's, I mean, I don't think there's anything more valuable than feeling good in your body and in your skin. And I don't think it stops anywhere. I think it just keeps going higher and higher and higher. And so what I've noticed, you know, and what I've seen with people that like get onto raw foods or they get into whole foods, like incorporating more nutritious foods into their lifestyle is that they just feel good about themselves, that it's not some sort of short-term diet, but it becomes a lifestyle because they're happier and nothing can take away that happiness. And so the reason why I'm bringing this up is because this is something that if you're aware of this and you're aware that this is what keeps you actually on your current diet, then this will help you over the weekend when you're facing the, the extra large pizza and the jumbo uh, tub of ice cream. This, knowing this, can help you be prepared for it and, and not be swayed by it and not even have to even think about it. So what I, I'm trying to sort of say is that the better you feel about yourself, the less you're going to need the bad, okay? So the more good you feel about you, the less you're going to be reaching for the junk food because, you know, that doesn't, it won't fit in the equation pretty much. So it's kind of like if you make the extra effort to really do those things that make you feel attractive, that make you feel hot, that make you feel beautiful that make you love yourself, make you feel proud of yourself, if you do things that bring up your self-esteem, then over the, you, you would notice that when you go out into like social situations where there's food, you're, you're not so drawn to the food because you're just kind of like, well, that doesn't 
fit in with, you know, like that pizza over there does not fit in with how great I'm feeling and that's going to bring me down and right now I'm feeling so hot and everything I'm doing is in alignment with that and that other stuff isn't. And so you can be surrounded by like every single type of food that once upon a time you would drop anything for and you wouldn't even be swayed by it because you're just kind of like, no, I don't need that in me. I don't need that to be in, you know, an extra inch on my booty right now. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm loving me and I'm so hot right now that, you know, it, there's just no thank you. And there's a few things in order to bring your, your life condition to, to that place. You know, I, I don't think it's something that just happens. I don't think people just walk around feeling like, you know, the hottest thing in town all, all the time. No, okay? We do things, though, in our daily life to that bring that out, that strengthen that, that feeling and, and bring up our, our self-confidence. And, and I really believe that it's small little things that you do, like like going out to exercise. Like for me, like before I go to a social thing, I always go and have a workout before because afterwards I always feel great. I feel like I'm on fire. I feel hot. I'm like, I'm alert and I feel good in my body. If I go and work out before I go to a party or something, you know, it, it's like, I've never walked out of, out of a workout like craving junk food. That just doesn't happen. Nor do I want junk food an hour or like five hours after I work out. I'm not, I have no cravings for it. And instead I just feel really good about myself that I only put into me what feels really good. And so you can do things like go and exercise before you go out, but you can also just do simple like little things. Like, like if you're a female, like, you know, put on your favorite dress, put on your favorite outfit. Same with if you're a guy, like, you know, take care of yourself and take care of, of because you know, a lot of times people are like, oh, well, you know, that's so superficial and like, you know, who cares about what you look like? And, but no, you know, do it for yourself because there's nothing like feeling really good about yourself on the inside and on the outside. And your outside is what radiates what's going on in the inside. And a lot of times, like, as they say, like, you know what, smile first and happiness will, will come. And I believe that's the same thing with like taking care of your exterior body as much as you take care of your interior because the more you do that the more everything around you is going to reflect that and so you know the weekends this is a time to really you know if you feel like you're a little bit weak on like you know keeping with your diet and you feel that the efforts that you make during the week kind of get thrown out the window on the weekend and slow down your progress then do the experiment of like of really making just a little bit of extra effort to take care of yourself and and do things that make you feel great. What is it that makes you feel alive? What is it that makes you feel sexy? What is it that makes you feel like the hottest person around? And do those things. But you have to know what they are and everyone it's different. So, you know, but ask yourself, like what is it? Like you know, once upon a time, I once did something that made me feel so great, you know, and sometimes it's, it's going for a haircut, or sometimes it's, it's going for, for a manicure, or it might just be to wear your favorite socks. I mean, who knows? You know, or just doing your laundry, or washing your hair, or whatever it is, but just do things that make you feel good about you, and it, it will shine through. And you then won't even have to be worrying about what's around you and what's going to throw you off. Nothing. Because your path will just be like pure happiness and pure hotness. So I'm leaving you guys with that. And I'm wishing you all a fabulous, fabulous weekend. And I will see you on Monday. Bye.